Hello everyone, my name is Aileen Rojas. In this video, I will talk about art and entertainment. I will visit different museums and some places of interest, so you can see them at first sight and be motivated to visit them yourself. In Bogota, there are about 63 museums that integrate tourist attractions in the city. Among them, museums in universities and important cultural sites. In addition to entertainment sites, such as the Planetarium, the Botanical Garden, Maloca, and many more, the cost to enter these sites range between 2,700 Colombian pesos and 10,000 Colombian pesos, more or less for students and at top prices for adults or children may vary. The costs are not as high. In 35 museums in Bogotá, the entry is free on the last Sunday of every month. And every Sunday in the National Museum, the Gold Museum, the Bogotá Museum, and the Botero Museum. For more information on the site, you can check their own website or their sites, civico.com or banrepcultura.org. The National Museum of Colombia offers visitors 17 permanent exhibition halls, in which around 2,500 works and objects are exhibited, symbols of history and national heritage. In its calendar of temporary exhibitions, the museum presents samples of national and international history, art and archaeology. Additionally, it offers a varied academic and cultural program that includes conference, concerts, theater, and dance presentations and audiovisual projections, among others. This painting is called Las Amacas de Tolu. It was made in the year 1956 by the painter and artist Fernando Otero. I call my attention by the colors and bodies that are on the hammocks, because create a feeling of emptiness when seeing it. This pattern is called La Mujer de Levita de los Montes de Efraín. It was made in the year 1899 by the painter Epifani Julián Garay Caicedo. I called my attention for the shape of the bodies and the sensation of pain transmitted by the scene. What characterizes the Gold Museum is that it preserves and exhibits goldsmith and pottery pieces of indigenous cultures of pre-Columbian period of present-day Colombia. Uh, let's see them. The Gold Museum of the Republic Bank preserves archaeological collections that are a heritage and pride of all Colombians. The museum that was created in 1939 by the Bank of the Republic gathers about 34,000 pieces of goldsmiths and 20,000 lithic objects, ceramics, textiles, and precious stones belonging to the cultures of Quimbaya, Calima, Tairona, Sinú, Muisca, Tolima, Tumaco, and Magdalena, among others. In this place, it is possible to admire exquisite gold pieces such as pectorals, masks, poporos, pendants, bracelets, necklaces, containers, and hundreds of figures of remarkable quality. The museum is organized into four exhibition rooms and an exploration room. What are they? Room, the work of metals, that describes the techniques of mining and manufacturing of the old metallurgy. Room, people and gold in pre-Hispanic Colombia, which proposes a tour of the country to know climates, environments, and national cultures. Room, cosmology and symbolisms, which explores the mythical themes, shamanisms, and the symbolisms of metals. Room of the Offering, which alludes to the meaning of this religious art in an atmosphere of twilight where six cylindrical showcases connect heaven and earth. The exploratory promotes interactivity and reflection around the diversities and meaning of the heritage that the museum preserves. This is a museum characterized by having 
having a large collection of works donated to Colombia by the artist Fernando Botero with the intention of spreading the arts and culture in his native country, where 87 correspond to his personal collection of universal art and the rest, about 123 pieces, were made by the same artist. The Botero Museum houses one of the most important art collections in Latin America, composed of 85 works by some of the most representative creators of the art history of the late 19th and early 20th century and 123 works including drawings, watercolors, oils, pastels and sculptures by the Colombian artist Fernando Botero. In the year 2000, Fernando Botero donated a collection to the Republic Bank and the city of Bogota with the purpose of making the works accessible to the entire Colombian population. The collection is exhibited in the halls of the former newspaper library Luis López de Mesa, later known as the House of Exhibitions and now the permanent headquarters of the Botero Museum. It is characterized by having 19 hectares of war full of nature and colors. Its name is commemorative of José Celestino Mutis, director of the Botanical Expedition. It was founded in 1955 by the Colombian scientist Enrique Pérez Arbeláez. It promotes activities that deal with education and environmental conservation as well as research on the diversity of Colombian flora, emphasizing the savanna of Bogotá. Seven reasons why you should consider this place. Your next required plane when you want to enjoy nature without getting away from the city. First, for the learnings about the water cycle. Second, to see the Cascade Waterfall. In this space, you can enjoy the relaxing music produced by the waterfall. First, a horse tales. Examples of cryptogramic plants. The oldest on the planet. Third, for the beautiful Maloca, a typical ancestral community house used by the indigenous people of the Amazon. Fourth, throw the viewpoint in the area of Paramo, a space dedicated to the representation of the typical flora of the Colombian Paramos. Five, throw the pine forest. Six, for the fantastic collection of exotic plants. Seven, for the zone of planting trees, the Botanical Garden of Bogotá cultivates the majority of species that serve to plant trees in the city, schools, public space, and nesting hills. Thanks to all who watched this video, the tours to these places full of history have been magical. I recommend that you visit this type of places with time to enjoy a complete tour. Wear comfortable shoes, something to hydrate, and if you want a cell phone with a battery or a camera to capture everything you call your attention. And above all, do not leave the museums and cultural sites outside of their planes as they are part of our city and our history. Bogotá is much more than shopping centers, going to the cinema and Monserrate. Bye, thank you.